Hi friends, we'll understand about tick enter message boxes. So during our operation, various messages we want to display and same time we may have to take the user uh, response also. Say before deleting, we want to take a confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete the record? So those sort of messages we will learn how to develop. And you see for that, this library is important. Tick enter message box we have imported. So this library you must in import first. Then let's start. Instead of showing a blank window and showing a message box, we'll first create a button on click of the button message box then we will understand what are the types of uh, message boxes are there so let's start with a b1 it's a b1 it's a tk button i'm just adding a button now to my parent window my w text is i'm saying so message whatever you can write it now i am giving a command so i want uh, this to execute a function and inside that function I will keep the code to display the message box. So, so message or whatever you want to write you can write it. So far not defined let us first define it. So, I will say diff so message this is my function now what I should uh, write it ok for the timing let me just pass it. Now let us place the button grid also in, in our grid. So we will say grid row equal to 1 column equal to 1. Now we will say pad x slightly we will move towards uh, right. So pad x 30 pad y is also 30 slightly we move downward instead of flushing to the edges at the top and left side. So if you, if you want to see it once let us run this I have saved and let us run this. So, this is a, so once we click this message should come so far we have not coded this so it will not be visible now. We will start showing our first message so we will say there are so info. Now there are two types of basically the message boxes one is just show the information user has no choice here it's it has to ac acknowledge it and close it another thing is ask a question say you want user to say confirm it yes no or cancel it or simple retry or you want user to give one of the choice so that's a second type we'll see first type first then we'll go to the second we are just displaying some information here so what you will say let me just review title here then uh, i'll say my message here so you can <coughs> see in both cases what you are displaying so <coughs> so it's a so info it's a information you are showing so let's run this and see what its output is so i will just give a better readability gap here okay so the button once i click it this function executes and the message is shown that's very simple and uh, let's run it okay so so message now you can see my message here okay title is here at the top whatever wherever title is title is goes there my message is here this is the icon is here so fine so i can close this go there is no user choice here so similarly let's say so info instead of so info let's say so warning so we are just warning the user let's see how this looks so so message warning this is my say you your message may change in your case so it's just so warning now let's say so error so these are the third one here we are not taking any user input just we are giving the message that's all so message my message here so this is a uh, again you are, you can see what is the message and title you can change it based on your requirement so i have no choice to make but can i change the icon let's see let's try that so i will say icon it can take some three va four values it's a info error question and warning so let me say keeping it as error i am saying that icon uh, equal to now i will say uh, question though it nobody will use when showing a error so we'll, we are just learning this let's see how it works so message you can see now the question mark has come 
so because though i am using a error but there is no point in using a error this thing you can use the better to use a default uh, icon also so we'll see in other messages different another type of so this you remember that this uh, you can use warning also error and info so we'll see in other case now these are the three types of so info so warning and so error this is one way traffic you you cannot take any feedback from the user you have just shown it fine now let's go to a second type of where you can uh, ask a, uh, give a choice for the user and based on the choice you can select or your action will further action will depend based on the true in that case what we will do is we will try to print the what the user has uh, choice is to the screen you can print it to the console also you will see if it is in the window that's better so what you will do will below that will print one uh, label so we'll say l1 equal tk dot label now my w okay for this we need a string variable also because that string variable will set it there so okay or text let's configure directly text is um, output here let's try this way output here now label label will display l1 dot grid below that so row is 2 now column is equal to 1 so that's all let's save this now <coughs> for testing purposes now we'll start writing another message here so ask question ask question but this time we will assign it to icon let's remove the icon part here what it give you know we can change the icon anything so we'll say my var equal to this is ask question now let's first print the my var it will be printed in the console my var fine so let's save this run it once okay show message my message is here everything is fine now there is a two buttons yes or no i am clicking no here so i got it i cannot see the console okay will i'll try to show it in the label so the in the console it is printed no so if i would have pressed yes it would have printed yes okay now let us take it to the label and print it there instead of this this will print in the console i think my screen is not reading that part okay let's uh, go and print the we'll say config sorry this is label one l1 dot config i will say text equal to my var let's see what happens now i will run this okay so message now let's say no so here no is printed now let's say so message yes yes is printed so this is one now we'll move to the next uh, type of uh, where you will get the user choice we'll slightly increase the appearance of our message so that will be clearly visible so what you will do we'll just say my font it's a variable only i'm just increasing the sorry equal to my font equal to uh, i'm just uh, increasing the size of the font i'll keeping it 18 and then i'm telling bold fine and now here in the this thing uh, in our label i will say font equal to my font so it will be now the size will be better so better visibility i can add the background also bg equal to yellow so more prominently front ground if i want font color to change i will use front fg you can read our label section to see uh, how this uh, labels are managed so this uh, printing to console i'll remove it bring it here so this is how we, you have seen this thing now let's go to a next one ask okay cancel so ask okay cancel this is another type of message box we are using let's save this run once let's see how this is output is here okay so message now we have a choice of uh ask okay see i missed something here i'm ask okay cancel hmm. 
ask okay cancel fine so let's run this again so message my message here now let me just click the cancel it's zero so message okay it's one so here i am i am get, getting based on the feedback of the user i can further process this so this is uh, we have seen here ask okay cancel now let's close this go for one more thing ask yes or no ask yes no let's save this run once so message yes no so i am getting no i'll get it here yes i am getting one here fine now let's go for ask retry cancel retry cancel so this is same thing i will just save this run once so so message retry i can click retry one or so message cancel it's zero if you want to uh, get the true false value what you can do is in in console it prints as a string i will just use it as str here now let's see the same one how the message changes now run it show message retry so it's true cancel is false fine so now this is ask uh, retry cancel is you have seen now let's say yes no cancel so there will be three options so yes no and then cancel fine so let's go for this output show message now three buttons are there so let's say first i am putting yes so it is true now say no what i'll get is false if i'll say cancel what i will get is none so this is how and based on this output i can further process it now if you must have noticed here default button is yes can i change the default button to no or cancel yes we'll try that so let's close this close this let's come here my message <coughs> default sorry here default <coughs> equal to uh, the options i will get it here is i will say yes let's say yes sorry yes by default it is there let's put it is no let's see how the default changes so message see the default is kept at no let's put it in cancel i will cancel it say here cancel sorry now let's see where the default selection is now so message uh c a n c e l okay i had to low use lower case here i can't use upper case let me run it again so message yeah default selection is cancel so this is how we can show different different uh, message to the user and take the feedback now let us pass some we'll customize some message and pass it to the message box let's take a variable let's say we are m1 or message one whatever you can give uh, we'll say are you sure mr now here we'll use a placeholder yes we'll mr because based on different different uh, situations your the name may change uh, and we'll give a line let's give a line break you want to delete delete now here we'll give one more so we'll say one so now let's uh, uh, one more we'll say str1 this is the name what you will go is let's say alex now str2 we'll say let's say one id we are deleting 45 so id is 45 now here we are uh, this thing so we'll say format now here we'll say str1 first place it will go then we'll say str2 
the next place so that's all but here now we'll say that uh, title will keep it here instead of directly giving a message we'll give a m1 here m1 let's remove this default we have understood how the set the default one so now what will happen let's see how it uh, we can customize we are customizing the message so the user know what it is doing so message uh okay here i missed a format let me save it run once show message see are you sure mr alex you want to delete 45 so this is how you can give a very customized message from your uh, suppose your your login id is alex or your database record you are deleting is 45 or anything record number or student number anything you can customize that and show a customized message so user knows what it is is going to do it so uh, that's all you can further improve it or you want some ideas or some uh, questions on this you can use the comment box below to uh, use this and uh, thank you for watching and please do subscribe and uh, uh, so press the bell icon so you will be notified whenever the um, we post new tutorial and thank you for watching